Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to call OpenAI from your C Sharp code. We'll be using the Azure OpenAI client library for .NET, which integrates OpenAI's capabilities into the .NET environment. Azure OpenAI is a managed service that lets developers deploy, tune, and generate content from OpenAI models on Azure resources. The Azure OpenAI client library for .NET is an adaptation of OpenAI's REST APIs. It provides an idiomatic interface and an excellent integration with the Azure SDK ecosystem. You can connect to both Azure OpenAI resources, but also to non-Azure OpenAI endpoints, such as the one on openai.com. So that means that you can use this package whether you're working in Azure or not. Now, before we start using the package, there are a couple of prerequisites. If you'd like to use an Azure OpenAI resource, you need an Azure subscription and Azure OpenAI access. So that'll allow you to create Azure OpenAI resources, get both connection URL and API keys. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be using Azure, I'm just gonna be using an API key that I have on openai.com. But you can do both using this package. So to get started, let's create a new console application. And we'll use this in .NET Framework 6 because it's got long-term support. And then when that's created, we're going to be adding this azure.ai.openai NuGet package. Now you'll notice this is a pre-release version. Hopefully soon there'll be a full production release of this, but we can do everything we need to do with the pre-release. So if we open up the NuGet packages in the Solution Explorer and click this include pre-release flag here, that will let us find the azure.ai.openai package. So go ahead and install that. And we just install all these prerequisites as well. Brilliant, now we can go into our program.cs class and we can start using the OpenAI package. So you get this OpenAI client type here and the OpenAI client type will take in an API key. Now, remember at the start of the video, I said that you have the option of using either the Azure services or just directly talking to openai.com. I'm gonna be talking directly to openai.com. And so to do that, I need an API key on platform.openai.com. So I'm gonna to go to platform.openai.com on the web and click on my face in the top right hand corner and select view API keys. Now this gives you the option to create a new API key in your OpenAI account. So go ahead and do that now. And we'll just call this my C Sharp project. Create that secret key and copy it to the clipboard. Then if we go back into the code, we can paste our API key into the constructor of the OpenAI client. And we've now got a client instance that we can use to talk to OpenAI. So first up, let's make a completion call to OpenAI. So this is a standard GPT-3 call where we send it a prompt and we get a response. So we'll create a new OpenAI response and then await client.getCompletionsAsync. Now in here, we need to put in the name of the GPT-3 model that we want to use with OpenAI. So if you go over to platform.openai.com and you can go into the playground, you can see on the right hand side here, by doing this drop down, there's a bunch of GPT-3 models that we can use. So all we need to do is remember the name of one of these models. So for example, let's just use text DaVinci 003. Back in our code, we can put text DaVinci 003 inside the get completions async function. And then we can put a prompt in there. And our prompt is just gonna be, tell me a joke about C Sharp. That's all we need to do, we're awaiting that response. And then what we can do is loop through the choices inside OpenAI response dot value dot choices. And we're just gonna log each of those to the console for now. So that'll be choice dot text into the console. Hit F5 and wait for that to spin up. And I've just got a breakpoint in here just to show you that if we hover over this, you can kind of browse the whole OpenAI response in the console but we'll just continue with that and you can see that we've got a joke that's generated from ChatGPT about C Sharp. Not very funny, but then this is AI, not human beings. Great, go back into the console and you can see that our response options have been added into the console. 
Great, so that was a prompt using GPT-3. Now let's use the newer ChatGPT model, which is using this get chat completions async. So let's do that, head back into the playground and select chat from the bottom top right hand corner. And you can see here, we've got the name of a chat GPT model. The only one that's available at the minute is GPT 3.5 turbo. So paste in GPT 3.5 turbo into our function there. And this time, instead of putting in a string, we need to put in a new chat completion options object into this function. In this new chat completions options object, we get this messages array. And inside messages, we're going to create just one new chat message and we're gonna give it a role of system. So this reflects what you can be doing in the playground as well, where you have a system role. And then that will ask the same thing again. It will say, tell me a joke about C sharp. Then if we go down and for each through every choice in this OpenAI responses value choices and log those to the console, we should get the same result as before. We should get a joke, but this time it'll be generated by the GPT 3.5 chat completions model. And that wraps up our introduction to the Azure OpenAI client library for .NET. I hope you find this service as exciting as I do. It's a fantastic tool for developers to make the most out of OpenAI in the .NET environment. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, tutorials, and general programming tips. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.